Jenny welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing really really well I've got a really exciting video for me anyway right it's the beauty crop mystery box this is the March one the last one I did was February this is March it come like this and I also got the cherish me bundle so they're both they've both come in the same box so what I'll do is I'll show you the cherish me bundle then I'll show you the beauty crop mystery box and then we are going to try and do a full face of makeup with whatever we get in there. I've got my trusty little makeup box here that I've put some stuff in. Um, so if we're missing anything, foundation, that sort of thing, I can go off camera, put that on, and then we'll make my face up with whatever we've got in the box. So now then, the Cherish Me Mystery Bundle, that was £28. But you've got quite a bit in it. Yep, that, 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 hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, one second, I'm just going to go and check, no, I was completely right, we've got six items, so the first thing we got, which is handy, is these, so we've got some blending sponges and some of the powder puffs um if i can get into this i haven't opened any of this yet i don't know what's in it i have another look uh this one it wasn't a mystery box but i can't get in here why can't i get in here why won't it open i'll get into it in a minute but we've got the two blenders and a small heart shaped sponge and a bigger heart shaped sponge Oh, one's a cleansing pad. The big one's a cleansing pad. Then a powder puff and two makeup sponges. So we got those. We also got the Peptide Calm 3-in-1 Cleansing Balm. Let's see. There we go. So we got that. We got, this is the Hydrating Lip Oil in the shade Bay. B-A-I-E. Bay. 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 So it's like a, I think they're just clear, to be honest. I have got another one of these in a different colour, but let's see. Yeah, that's just clear. Look. Oh, it smells nice. It smells very sweet. Very sweet. But yeah, that's nice. Then we got, what's this? This is the Glow Milk Blushed in the shade Glistening Grapefruit. Oh, let's see if we can get in. Oh, that's a pretty colour. Look, it's sort of an orangey, muted orange. That's pretty. So we got that. Then we got the Vitamin Babe Vitamin Rich Glow Primer SPF 45. Fragrance free. So it's a primer. Come on. There. With SPF in it. So we got that. And then the last thing we got is the We Cherie Hydrating Dual Face Setting Mist. So we got this. So, yeah, you can see it's got the red on the top and you shake it up like that. But, so, yeah, so that was the that it's the Cherish Her bundle, not the Cherish Me bundle. Yeah, so that's what we got in there. So that's this will definitely go towards a full face, a primer. We've got a lip oil and a blush. So we've got three, three items so far, haven't we? Right. Let's see what else we've got in here. So in here, oh, we got this, which is two setting mists. Which is a bit disappointing. I would rather have only had one, but oh, if I can get it open. Wow. What ones have we got in here then? We have got the Cocoa Aloe Mist. That looks nice. And then we've got this. This is the Rose Mist. Now I've already got this, so this one is going to remain sealed. Look, you see the seal around the top sealed, unopened, and I'm going to put that in a giveaway. So there's that. And then we've got, oh yes, this is the Pore Blurring Primer. This is nice, but again, this has arrived sealed, completely sealed. So that as well as the other one will go in a giveaway. We've got here the Glow Milk Primed Luminizing Gel Primer in the shade Honey. Is this going to be another? Yeah. It's another one of them P. Louis. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury dupes, that's Max. 
Charlotte Tilbury dupes. I don't know if that's going to be a bit dark for me, but I'm definitely going to give it a go. I shall probably maybe put it on under my foundation today and we'll have a go of it. Might as well, isn't it? Might as well. So we've got that. We've got quite a bit in here still. We have got, what's this? This is the Pore Filler Pore, Blur, Pore Blurring Pressed Powder in the shade 5 Pink. Okay. Max. Max. Settle. Oh, oh it's very pale. It's a very pale pale. I don't even think you're going to be able to see it. If we got, yeah, we get the little doof uh, underneath. But yeah, it's just a very, let's have a, see, very, very pale pinky colour. That's nice. I, that's definitely a shade I could maybe use under my eyes because I'm quite pale. So I used one the other day. I don't think you've seen that video yet. Or you, no, you should have by now. I used one the other day and it was just too pink. So it looked like a blush under my eyes and not in a good way. Not in a good way. I can't remember who that one was by. Might have been the Vitamin Babe one from this. Then we've got the Lipped Cream. So we've got a lip liner, which is handy because it will go with the oil. So in the shade, it's in the shade Mocha. That's nice. Oh, I like that. So that's definitely going to go in today's little experiment. We'll see how that is. What else have we got? Oh, we've got another lip product. This is... In the shade raspberry i think this is one of those yeah it's one of those where you put that on and then you put that on so i think it's like a liquid lipstick so that dries that's like a stain and then you top it up with that so that's quite nice isn't it yeah and we've got two more things here so we have got the glow milk blushed cream blush this is in the shade glistening gardenia oh there we go and it is oh look at that that's really pretty that i do like that that's oh it's creamy let's see oh yes yes that's a nice peachy shade i like that that's nice i like that and then we've got this this is another blush duo blush in the shade toasted bronze let's have a look blush duo how do we get in it? I'll show you in a second. Hold on. It's like this. Oh, now I've just got to work out how to get in it. Without break. Ah, we've done it. Oh, there we go. There. Um, that is going to be more. That's more of a bronzer for me than a blush. But we'll go with it because I'd use it. Yeah, that's a bronzer. That's probably a bit too... A bit too dark and a bit too shimmery for me but the this side is definitely a bronzer bronzer for me yeah yeah i can definitely use that as a bronzer so yeah we got that right and that is everything from that box so i'm gonna go off oh no we got the primer we've got two primers to put on so i'm just gonna go and open all these and i'll be back right so this is the uh, primer no studs one second okay so we're going to use this if i can get into it hold on eh. there so oh it's sealed this is good this is good if i can get it open it's good <clears throat> there we go right so put it on i don't know how much we need of this it's got spf in it now if you're using something like this as an SPF, you're going to need a lot more than that. But fortunately, it's bedtime. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't need to use it as SPF. Otherwise, I'd already have my SPF on underneath. Um, and I'll be honest, I wouldn't use something that I was using as a primer as FBF, S -S, as SPF. Right. Now, most of what we've got are base and lip products. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to do some eye makeup. I'm going to do some foundation. And then I will be back to go through the products that we have got that we can use on my face. So I will see you in a moment. 
Okay, so I've done that. I've put on my eyeshadow. I've just used the Beauty Crop. I figured I was doing Beauty Crop, so I'd use Beauty Crop product. product. So I just got that. I've just used a mixture of this colour and this colour just in my crease and out corner and then this one and this one along my lid. So yeah, done that. And then I've used my Decipher foundation. Um, I really like this foundation. This is the one that is slightly too dark for me. It doesn't look too dark for me on camera, but it is in person, which is why I use it for filming. Because, you know, it saves it going to waste. So... First things first, we're going to do some base products. I've put, like I say, I put the foundation on. So I'm going to use, ugh, I can't get it open. Ugh, this, this here, but I'm just going to take a bit of this here on a small brush and just use it as a bit of a bronzer. I know it's a blush, but it's just far too dark, dark for me. It's not my colour. I mean, it's a bit shimmer. I don't care. We're going to use it as a bronzer. So I'm just going to put that, just dab that here. See, it's a nice, it's a, it's a bit dark, but just use it sparingly, just as a bit of a bronzer. Yeah. Yeah, I quite like that. And then just pick a bit more up. We'll go the other side. I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. But that looks that looks all right as a bronzer. I actually quite I quite like that as a cream bronzer. That's nice. I do like that. I'm just gonna just buff it in a bit more with my foundation brush, just because it is a bit dark, but it is a nice colour for me. Yeah, it's a nice colour for me, so I do like that. Now we've got a we've got two choices of cream blush. But they look similar colours, so I think I'm going to use one on one side and one on the other. Why not? Why not? So, I've got a little blender brush. Um, how am I going to do this? Right. Right, that's off. I'm going to go in with this one, because look, it's come off now. I'm going to use this, this cream, br cream blush and put it on this side of my face. So, just pick up a bit of product. And then, where's my, here's my mirror. And then you just, just dab it where I would. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to blend it out with the, the trusty foundation sponge because it is, yeah, it's highly, you can't see it on there, not as much. It's highly pigmented. So, yeah, you only need a little bit for this one. But it's a very, very, very nice colour. And it's slightly, it's got slight, slight luminous quality to it. But it's really nice, really nice. I really like that. I do like that. I hope it lasts. I do. Right. And then uh, we've got my other little brush. And I'm just going to take the tiniest, tiniest little dribble. And then I'm going to pick a bit up my finger and then just dab it there like that get my brush and then just blend it out because this is highly pigmented too yeah and lovely really lovely i really like these blushes yeah that is a lovely color yeah oh wow i really like that bit that side just to get rid of what's on my finger yeah that's nice that is nice yes 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 I love it I love it I love it right now then uh what have we got next I'm gonna use this I decided I'm gonna use oh who dribbled who dribbled look <laughs> get rid of that before it goes everywhere and I end up covered in blush because we don't want that. I'm going to give this a go, but I'm going to use it as a bit of a highlighter rather than, or see if I can use it as a highlighter. Let's have a look. 
yeah I think so so I'm just gonna dab it on there the tops of my cheeks there just tap it in with my finger yes oh uh, yes that that is working any more and it would be too much because it is very gold but I don't know if you can see just picking up there very pretty and not glittery at all which I like because I don't like glitter well I do I do I love glitter but just not on my face yes that's nice that's nice let's just tap it in a bit more with a brush just to make sure it's fully melded in with everything oh yeah that's those have blended together really nicely really nicely I, I really like those really like those right now then powder we've got this so we're going to try this under my eyes if i can get in it <clears throat> oh for god's sake why is it i can't open these ah done it right and we've got our look at this this is so cute this is the little beauty crops answer to one of the little sponges that's quite nice. We'll just dab it off on there. Let's have a look. How are we going in here? I, I think I need to just set on press under my eyes again just to get rid of any creases. And then just tap, 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 tap. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That's nice colour. It's not too not too pink but just enough for me to be a bit brightening yeah oh i like that that is nice yeah now one of the one of the things i did bring over just to in case i needed to was because i've got this powder in this is in peach seven but it's it's just the right sort of shade for me to do the rest of my face with so that's what I'm going to do. I don't want too much because I don't want to lose the what I've got going on on my cheeks. Though I have got a bit of bronzer. That I can put on if need be. But I don't think I need to. I don't think... Mm, I might just put a bit... This is the HMB bronzer. I really like this one. I think I might just stick a little bit of that just round the bases of my face. Oh, I can't see in that. I haven't taken the stickers off. Just like this. Just, just tap a bit, tap a bit off and just... There we go. There we go. That's all right, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go off. I'm going to do my finish off my eyes, and then I will come back and we can do lips. All right, I will see you in a second. Right, so we're we're definitely going to be using the lip liner. So let's put that on. I haven't done my mascara yet. My eyes are a bit watery. So. This is really creamy. Really creamy. Which is good because I've got really crusty lips today. I don't know why. And then I'm going to use the lip oil. Just to put a bit of shine in the middle. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Right, I'm just going to do my mascara, sort my hair out, and I'll come back and show you my finished look. Okay, so I've just used the Lash Lacquer. Hold on. Oh. Okay, that's it, right? So, like I said, Lash Lacquer by, uh, made by Mitchell as my mascara, my two Maybelline tattoo liners, 
in brown this is in brown as well this is in the shirt i think it's brown is it uh iced brown brown iced no nope, brown lacquer yeah then um yeah that's it that's it that's my what i've managed to do with everything i got i thought i did pretty well i thought i really did pretty well i'm really impressed with those products i really i really do like the beauty crop um yeah I don't know if I'm going to get any more of these boxes, though, because I've got quite a bit of stuff now. So, um, yeah, I don't really need any more. That's the one thing I need to do. We're going to try this Wee Cherie. That's it. This setting spray. Oh, it's got a nice mister on it. So, one second. There. There we go. And, yeah. And so, yeah. Oh, it smells nice. Oh, that smells really nice. It smells of cherries. It really does. Yeah, enriched with cherry extract and hyaluronic acid. So, yeah, anyway, um, I do so hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'd love it if you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos to come. And hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now. <laughs>